Welcome to Think Alive. We're Sharon and Andy, just two people with a dream and a vision of restoring our traditional stone-built farmhouse in southern Spain, transforming it into a beautiful off-grid home and sharing our journey with you. Good morning. Welcome back to the Finker, everyone. Welcome back. Exciting times. Yes. Well, it is for us anyway. <laughs> Might not be for you guys. <laughs> we've changed our minds again. Yes, but a bit. It's evolved. <laughs> That's what things do evolve. A quick recap. So we're working on this little bar. It's going to be an outside bar, little store area for barbecue, wooden pizza oven pellets, and all that sort of thing. We've done all the wall above. Um, fixed in the edge of the roof, we've got an idea to tile the roof, we're going to put a door on it, we've got this bit of wall to finish off, here's where we've changed, we're going to put, we've got a solar panel on top there, uh, we've got a two and a half kilowatt lithium, hello Tilly, lithium battery in here that powers the fridge and stuff, it's massively underused because we can only take out of it what we can put back into it through the solar panels, so what we're going to do, so, solar panels, Certainly here, they're half the price they were. Drastically come down in price. Oh, massively. Yeah. Um, so we're going to put another solar panel on this roof. It'll save tile on the whole roof. Yes. We can just tile around it. So we so might have enough A tile. bit of work and a few tiles. And a bit of money as well. A bit of money. Um, and then we're going to couple that up to this battery. So we'll be able to run like tons tons of more stuff then it runs the fridge in here 24 hours a day even in winter it never even touched the batteries really but if we use too much we've got to put the power back into it so another panel will at least double our capacity in here um, we can keep adding as we go it's just where to put them but on this roof's a perfect place it doesn't even have to face south it's you know our use is such so that's one thing then ooh, are you nipping? Are you yes, nipping? she's nipping. <laughs> You've been craving attention. <laughs> Good dog. Then we're going to put a door on it. So what I want to do first is get this side of the door um, filled in and get the door swinging and then we can work out the rest of it. So I think that's the first thing to do. Pack up this side. So yeah, watch this space. It's going to be an awesome transformation. Can't wait. So I've just had a bit of a measure. Um, I can actually get another panel up on here, um, which will be good, and two panels on there, um, which will give me about 15, 1600 watts of power additional. Um, I can then relieve some of the pressure off our original system, mainly in the winter when it's under a little bit of pressure, not much light, but which will give us more capacity to run more things more heating in the winter and stuff like that um so i think that's what i'm going to do anyway let's crack on with this wall right oh so i've got myself an assortment of um flat face stones and um, i'm going to start at the bottom work my way up i've got my assistant observer supervisor in the form of tilly not sure where alfie is but i'm sure he'll be along soon i've got a mix it's all wet down so i'm just going to start down here and then um, get this wall done fabulous and then get my tap in that first comes in I shall carry on. Speak of the devil. Here he is, Inspector Alf. So is it all right, Alf? Are we doing all right? Good lad. <laughs> right, I've done up here now. Stones are in, need to let them go off and then we can get it all pointed up again. Um, I've got a little bit left. I'll see if there's a couple of these I can fill in to use it up. So, just giving this a wipe down now before it goes off. I'll try and get the bulk of it off. It's not bad actually. You can't tell till it dries. 
sometimes it comes back white again but we can always give it another coat of oil if need be so in anticipation further i'm just going to see if i can move this light switch over a little bit it only needs to move over 10 millimeters or something and just to allow the for the door There we go, plenty of room there now, and it still works, amazing, cool. So, there's nothing more to be done at the moment than carry on filling in these gaps and getting this wall pointed up. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. It's coming along. It'll go in there nicely. Um, we have quite a few comments. We get quite a few comments. Thank you very much for your comments, of course. We, we do appreciate them. Um, about people have seen various machines and devices for pointing walls uh, in other places. Um, to be honest, we've, tr <coughs> we've tried everything. I've been doing this for over 30 years. And um, believe me, we've tried everything, and um, go the right way around. On coarse walls, that's like walls and like lines, like brickwork-ish. Some of these machines will work. These gadgets, but generally, on random rubble stone walls like this, they they don't do anything at all. They're more hassle than they're worth. Um, so the best way, by a, a long chalk. This is a stick it by, in by hand in the traditional methods. And um, you get your joints out absolutely right. Even the stones are all different levels. So using any kind of implement to do it doesn't work either. Even a, a trowel is no benefit. So just do it by hand like we're doing. Um, it's coming along. Fabulous. As always, let it go off, give it a light brush off to your fancy, how you like it, it doesn't matter. Um, I've put a few more bigger pinning stones in down the bottom, it's coming along, can't wait to get this done. We've been looking at it like unfinished for over a year so far, uh, so we really want to get this done. There's still plenty more to do, but at least when we sit out here in the summer, we'll be able to look at a, a nice wall rather than a we're falling down on finished wall. Well, it's Monday morning. It is. Um, we would like to say we had a great weekend. <laughs> Sorry, we did a bit. <laughs> yes. Shower near took a tumble. I fell. did. Unfortunately, fell down the steps from the courtyard. Got my slippers on. Silly thing to do. Oh. And I've broken my wrist quite badly, actually. So, uh, but of course, I'm going back to see my mum for Easter because she needs a bit of help. The lady that looks after her is going on holiday for a, a few days. Um, so they wanted to operate but I said no I can't I've got to be on that plane so they've strapped it up for me and I've got to behave myself and then I go back on the 8th of April and providing it's set properly I don't need an operation so keep your fingers crossed for me guys everything's crossed <laughs> right, cool. we've been scuppered by the weather um, yes. I was hoping to get bash on with this wall but it's it's a damp day, um, nothing significant in the way of rain, but very, Just very damp. light occasionally yes. and stuff. 
can't transport in lime in the war zone. It's like this. Oh, and it's, a, it's our third anniversary. It is, yeah, so that's a bit of it's good It's the 25th news. of March today. <laughs> Yeah. Um, it's our third anniversary of being on YouTube, so happy anniversary to us. Yes. Well, happy as it can be. Um, I think, as you know, we want to get some solar, an extra solar power, power in here. We had a battery sent to us by lead time. Thank you very much, lead time. Um, it's a two and a half kilowatt battery. It's massively underused. On days like today, if we can take some of the load off our main battery, um, it'll help to charge the batteries up faster when we get dull. You can't see the sky, can you? It's grey and overcast with no sunshine. Um, so what I'm going to do, <coughs> we said the other day I'm going to be putting four solar panels on the roofs here to get this battery working to a better um, performance, better capacity and um, take some of the loads, some of the constant loads, like we've got a UV water filter which runs 24 hours a day using 25 watts an hour and um, we've got the water pump which obviously gets used quite often reckon about an hour a day yes i would say and so. that's four or five hundred yeah, watts in, don't we? yeah on and off every time you turn the tap on basically or flush the loo or whatever yeah. and so if we can relieve our main system of some of those loads then it's going to make our battery charging easier on days like this make our power go a bit further um the biggest headache I'm going to have with this is getting a cable. I'm going to be putting the inverter and the batteries in here, um, but I'm going to run a big, I've got a big armoured cable that I acquired a bit ago. I want to run into the workshop. The most difficult thing is going to be getting it through the wall into the workshop and over to where I need the power to be. So I think that's what I'm on today. Yes, and I'll just watch and supervise. Yes, I'll supervise, <laughs> make sure I do it right. <laughs> So inside here we've got the door that's got in on the outside perched up there. We've got the battery, a little charge controller. It was always going to be a temporary setup because I still need to finish these walls off down here. You can see there's still big holes through them. Get this big olive thing out of the way so we can get into it. Um, but as I can't do anything like that at the moment, I'm going to just at least get the cable in place. It's a perfect day to do it. Um, so it's going to run in here, through the roof, across the roof there, across the barbecue shelter roof on top of there, and through the wall, into the workshop. Um, well, that's, that's the first, that's the challenge. What I want to try and do is go through the wall, well, on top of the wall. If I start trying to drill up the top, into the wall i'm probably going to dislodge something but up there on top of the wall where the roof sits on it i'm hoping i can get through and um pop it out inside i'll show you the inside so it's going to come through somewhere up there um i'm putting a it's armored cable swa steel wire arm steel wired armored cable um we've used it quite a bit before it's an absolute pig to work with if any of you've ever used it um, but it is super tough cable and um, should stand up to everything on the roof up there that could ever be thrown at it including the cats scratching at it because even they won't be able to touch it um, and then run it along and into where I want to be in the main control room there I've got this big bit I've got a longer one if I need it um, but that should get me through the cements are going to end up in here um, where the water pump plugs in over there the UV purifier steriliser is just down here the big pump for the to pump water out of the deposit is over there and these sockets here what I can do I'm just going to isolate them from here and then connect them to my new power source over there so all these sockets in which all those things plug into um, will run independently of this alleviating our main um, power supply which is here um, it needs a bit of cleaning up in here, but there's no point in doing that if I'm going to be working back in it again. So we'll do that later. So let's have a look if we can get through this wall. Oh dear. Best laid plans. Um. Come on. Over the gutter. Oh, I'm going to 
need a longer bit. Right, I'll go and get one. Right, it's getting serious now. <laughs> this this will do it. The things we do. Right, there goes nothing. Gently. That's pretty good actually, I was hoping it might be a bit higher than that, um, but if you can see it, um, pretty much right where I'm pointing there, there, <laughs> so we can work with that, um, all I've got to do now is get the cable through, and I'm um, just going to try and enlarge it with me, you remember from the other day, my bent drill bit, I'm just trying to straighten it in the press, but it's not working, um, doesn't need much, We'll see if we can get it. It's actually a bit straighter than it was anyway. That's the result. Nearly there. So this is the cable in question. Heavy, thick. I stripped a bit back. Um, you can see the wire armour in there. This outer casing's super tough. I've stripped a bit of the of it back. You can see the wire inside there. Just about cut through it with an angle grinder. Um, yeah, it's great fun to work with, but it does the job. So I'm going to now see if I can get one end's been stripped back already. Apparently, I've got 20.6 meters here. See if I can get this um, through my hole and out into the courtyard where I need it. I think we're there. Keep pushing it a bit over there. I can see it, I can see it through the window. Give it a bit more. So we've got plenty. You can always push it back. Okay. So here it is. Just gonna lay it across the top now. Feed it across the top. And get it into the little bar area over there. Excellent, I've got a piece of timber up here I can clip it to as well, which is great. After an epic struggle, it's in, um, just hanging down there, waiting to be wired up to the the new inverter which is actually one of the old inverters we had from our former incarnation of our solar system so that's all the outside sorted um, we're just going to run it across now um, I've got a couple of big hefty nails in the wall up there I'm probably just going to loop it over them and it's got to go down in the corner over there into the, the control room so I'll see Let's see if it'll work. Ah, uh, move away. That's not gonna work, is it?
Put a bit of squirty foam in the hole as well to keep the, the critters out. There we go, that'll do for one. need a suitable size hole in the corner there um, for it to run through. This by the way um, is an extractor for the compressor. It blows the hot air out of this. I've got a soundproof box here. Blows the hot air out of there. And we've got holes in the front. Keeps that cool when it's working hard. So yeah, I want to come through the roof somewhere in the corner there and then I can run it along here. And then um, we're getting there slowly with it. That was a pretty good shot. Pull it through. Okay, so it's stop there. We're going to have another look. Right now, so it's loosely clipped in position. It's just hanging down here, waiting for someone to need to be done with it. Um, I need to get some clips. In fact, I've got a big list I just made of all sort of breakers and junction boxes and everything else I'm going to need, uh, consumer units, distribution units, to get the whole thing in place. But for now, the job I wasn't looking forward to, on a damp day, um, it's serving its purpose, it's in. Well, we've been done again by the weather today. Um, it's, it wasn't even supposed to rain, it's supposed to be quite bright, um, but it's damp and raining a little bit. We've had about five millimetres um, this, throughout the morning. Um, so we can't do anything outside again with the lime, but as always we've been using the time. Um, I'm just looking through, checking I've got everything for this next solar install. Um, I've got over there a big heavy duty MPPT charger um, that will charge the batteries from our um, new panels that we're getting. I've got this. Um, it's a 24 volt to make up with our 24 volt battery in there. Inverter charger. The charging part of it doesn't actually work. <laughs> I've got it in to see if there's a fuse or anything gone inside it. But I can't see anything. But it doesn't matter. It still works fine as an inverter. And we've got the other charger over there. We've got the big cables with the isolator switch. Um, to connect the batteries up to this. Um, I think the only thing I've got a list of everything I need. The only thing I've not got that I'm going to get is an earth rod because this will need its own separate earth because it's an independent system. Um, so but yeah it looks like we've got everything we need. I've even got little big fat connectors that will go onto the batteries that can go on the cables. Um, so that was a worthwhile exercise. Um, while I'm in here I'm probably going to have a sort out and put things away make it a bit straighter. It gets more and more cluttered. Um, as the work goes on over the months and weeks and whatever, every so often we have a big blitz to tidy it all up. And of course the other joys are on animals, um, especially when it's wet outside. They're covered with mucky feet. Um, until they just put the dirty marks on the wall here and down there. Alfie, when he jumps through, this, this gate here, so because Jessie's a blind cat, she can't see, she's not sure about Tilly, so, so she can have a safe space when she wants um, to keep until if I'm trying to play with her. Um, Alfie jumps up here and he actually runs around the wall. Um, so there's dirty marks on the wall here. The beauty of lime washes, all we've got to do when it stops raining is take a little thin wash and just wash it back over and be good as new. One of the, another one of the benefits of it. So it's Tuesday. <laughs> I'm glad she's got up. It's time to weigh the dog. I just weighed myself. Oh, crikey, we can pick it up. <laughs> I 
I was 72.7, 95.9, so 23.2, 23.2 <laughs> kilos. Big girl till you miss. It's like, it's like with the bull, they said to the farmer, if you pick it up every day from when it's a young one, you'll be able to pick it up when it's fully grown. Oof. We'll see yeah. about that. Yes. <laughs> God damn it. You're a big fatty, aren't you? a big lump. I have a rest now. Well, there's not a lot else to do, so we're just sat enjoying the kitchen. Uh, yes, at least we're going to enjoy our kitchen that we spent months doing. Spending some time with this one who is still wanting to bite everything. Yeah. Tilly. No. Sharon's going back to the UK in the morning. I am. Early, yeah. early, early. Yes. So we're going to go out, um, yeah. get a menu del dia, a Spanish, a, a typical Spanish institution. You get like Tilly. <laughs> It's so noisy. You get like five courses for a few euros. It's extremely good value. Um, there's nothing we can do outside. I can tidy the workshop a little bit, but that doesn't really thrill me too much. Um, so we're going to do that. Yeah. So we'll call it a day for now, and uh, I won't see you on the next one, but Andy will. Um, it's going to be sunny tomorrow again, they say. Yeah, I'm probably going back to the rain, and the sunshine will be out again tomorrow here. But hey, ho. <laughs> Yes, we desperately need it. We do, we're so, not complaining. Thank you so much for watching. Um, thanks to all the subscribers. Thanks to everyone that supported the channel. Um, and we'll see you, I'll see you on the next one.